China may launch a new vessel capable of carrying its first crewed mission to the moon as early as 2027, according to the head of the country's biggest space contractor. Wei Anxing, chairman of China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, told the youth forum that this new generation of rockets, sometimes referred to under the codename 921 rocket, would be able to carry a three-person orbiter and a moon lander that would be able to carry two crew members. Wu also revealed other details about China's space ambitions in his speech, which was published on CASC's website on Friday and outlined plans to explore other planets and even travel beyond the solar system to look for places that could support human life. The plans include more Chang missions, which aim to bring samples from the far side of the moon back to Earth in 2026, an environmental and resource survey at the South Pole of the Moon the following year, and establish a research station also at the South Pole in 2028. China looks to hypersonic ski jump technology for space travel. China is hoping to send astronauts to the moon by around Chinese space authorities have indicated they hope to send astronauts to the moon by around 2030, but have not committed to a specific date. For more tech-related latest news and interesting videos, subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for latest updates. Wu also said there were also plans to send a probe to collect samples from Mars and bring them back to Earth within the next 10 to 15 years. Other objectives include launching a deep space probe around 2025 to explore near-Earth asteroids and main belt comets. There are also plans to send missions to explore Jupiter and its moons, Uranus, the Sun, and the edge of the solar system. An exploration project for planets suitable for human habitation outside the solar system, codenamed Sound Search, was planned to start in 2030, said Wu. There are also plans to develop a space service system for satellite and orbit equipment replacement and maintenance, technology upgrades, and construction around the same time. China is also developing a low-cost and reusable vessel along the lines of the space shuttle. Wu said the aim was to support a regular space transport system, which he compared to high-speed trains and commercial planes. Our goal is that to promote China to become a leading space power by 2030 and fully establish China as a world space power by 2045, he said. The 921 rocket, a probable reference to the Long March CZ-5G rocket, will be able to carry a payload of 70 tons into a lower Earth orbit and one of 25 tons to the Moon. The 921 rocket will use many of the mature technologies from the current heavy-lift rocket CZ-5, including its engines. CASC will also continue developing its more powerful super-heavy-lift Long March 9, which will become China's largest space capacity rocket and a key pillar for its deep space missions. The three-stage TZ-9 is designed to carry a 150-ton payload into low-Earth orbits, of 50 tons to the Moon and up to 44 tons to Mars. Three new hydrogen-oxygen engines are also being developed for the three-stage rocket. In October, the CASC said some ground tests for the third-stage engine have been carried out successfully.